This Math in Minute video is on dilation formulas, and this is used when the point is not the origin of zero, zero. So here is the formula, k times x minus a plus a is for your x coordinate. k times y minus b plus b is for your y coordinate. And your a, b represents the new origin point. So for this point, let's say it's out at negative three comma two. So this negative three would be your A and B would be two. K is the scale factor. X and Y represents each point on your shape. Let's go ahead and look at an example using the dilation formula. So this problem says dilate from the point negative three comma five by a scale factor of two and it gives the three positions of the triangle, A, B, and C. So let's take a quick look at our formula. This here is for our X coordinate, and after the comma is for our Y coordinate. So we're going to do this for each of the points in our triangle. Looking closer at the formula, we can see here the X minus A, and it tells us the distance from our original to the new origin point. Our K is our scale factor, so it's going to tell us whether to increase or decrease. And then our A over here is at starting us at our new origin point. And the same is for the Y coordinate. So let's go ahead and plug in our values to our formula. So K is going to be our scale factor. So K is always going to be two in this problem. A is going to be our X factor for our new point. So A is going to be negative three. And B is our Y coordinate, and that is always going to be five. So this information is going to stay the same for all three points of our triangle. So let's go ahead and put those in our formula and then apply our X and Y coordinates of our original triangle. Okay, so we've applied our scale factor and our new origin point, which is negative three for our X and positive five for our Y. So now we're gonna look at our A and figure out A prime and substitute our X and Y coordinates into our equation. So we have two and our X is negative three. We would have negative three minus negative three, which means it's really plus three. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that, plus negative three. So that is for our X coordinate. For our Y, we have two. Our Y value is negative one, minus five, plus five. So let's go ahead and do our algebra. So inside here we have zero, right? Negative three plus three is zero. We're multiplying that by two. And then we have plus negative three, so I'm just gonna say minus three. So this is zero minus three, and this would equal negative three. So our X value for our A prime is negative three. Let's go over here and do the Y. So in our parentheses, we have negative six. We're gonna multiply that by two and then add five. Again, this is our Y side. So this is negative 12 plus five. This is equal to negative seven, so it would be negative three comma negative seven. We'll graph it at the end. So again, we're still gonna use our same formula, but we're gonna plug in a new X and Y coordinate because then we're gonna look for B prime. So we're gonna erase this. Now let's substitute our values in for B. So we have B prime is equal to two. Our X value for B is negative one. I'm just gonna say plus three because when we minus a negative, it turns into plus. And then I'm gonna say minus three because we're adding negative three. So our Y coordinate in B is two minus five plus five. So we're gonna do what's in parentheses and we have positive two in our parentheses and we're gonna multiply that by two minus three. That's the same thing as four minus three. So our X coordinate of B prime is one. So let's go over here and do y. Two minus five is negative three. So two times negative three is negative six plus five. So our y coordinate for b prime is negative one. One comma 
negative one. I'm gonna erase this. So C prime, we're going to put our X coordinates in our equation. So we have two. Our X value for C is one. Again, minus negative three, I'm just gonna say plus three. And this is going to be minus three. This is our X coordinate. Our Y coordinate would be two. Our Y is negative two, minus five, plus five. All right, so here on our X side, one plus three is equal to four. Eight minus three, this is X is equal to our five. Let's go over here to the Y side. Negative two minus five is equal to negative seven. We're going to multiply that by our two, which is our scale factor. And then we're going to add five. So this is negative 14 plus five. So our Y coordinate, negative nine. So it will be five comma negative nine. So let's see if we can graph our prime numbers. Negative three and negative seven. Our B is one, negative one. So here, and then our C is equal to five, negative nine. So this would be, okay. So those are your new points and that is what the graph would look like. Again, this is dilation when the point is not the origin zero, zero, um, but you're doing it from a different point. You can utilize this formula. Any math topics you would like me to cover, please leave in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, and we'll see you next time.